Hey bookworms, um, I've just been told that the results from my latest assignment are up on online. So I'm going to have a look at them now and I worked really hard on this assignment so I hope I did well. Um, I'm not confident, <laughs> now I feel like I'm, I'm nervous, I'm nervous about getting these, this mark but it's worth 50% of the subject as well so I really tried hard on this one so let's see <laughs> Just logging into the portal. I did okay. <laughs> um, a few. <laughs> I was really nervous. I was, I was like, I might cry. I might cry on camera. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually happy with this mark, thank God. Uh, but I did have a nervous moment there for a second. Um, okay, so it looks like I got 43 out of 50, which, um, oh, okay, it's 87%. I'm happy with that, really happy with that. That's that's at least a credit it might actually be a distinction so I'm really happy with that few <laughs> I really like um I took on board the feedback that I'd got from other assignments and really tried to apply the corrections on this assignment and um it it looks like it's paid off so I'm really happy about that okay So it says, well done, this was a strong essay that fo focused on the essay question to create a clear argument for the ways in which information professionals can assist in the identification and avoidance of misinformation and disinformation. There were just a few points where I had queries and a few small things to look at with reference to the uh, referencing style that the university uses. Um, I'm looking forward to reading your next assignment. All the best, Romani. Oh, that's good. <laughs> That's good feedback. That's really good. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, I can see she's she's actually annotated um, the mistakes I've made in the referencing style. Oh, that makes total sense. Okay. I've done something the wrong way around. So, but I've done that all the way through. So it's consistent. But... <laughs> Yeah, that, okay, I get that, I've done that wrong, but. Mm. Oh, this is really good. I'm gonna have to sit down with a cup of coffee and go through it. Um, each, each point that she's made, because um, she's linked it back to a specific part of my assignment so that I can have a look back what she's, what she's saying. Um, Oh, actually, I'm making an assumption here that it's a woman, but it might be a man. So I'm sorry, Romani, if you ever see this, if I've misgendered you. Um, they, they have left a lot of um, feedback on my assignment. So I'm going to go through that. Oh, what a relief. I'm really pleased with that. Yay. And it was worth 50% too, so... Really happy <laughs> result. <laughs> hey guys, so it's a few days later and I've just got an email. I've been at work today, but I just got an email on the way home that our other assignment from this semester, the first half of this semester, um, the results are in and they're online. So I'm about to look at 
my results from my other assignment. This one was worth 45%. I have no idea how I went. I tried really hard. <laughs> um, I worked really hard on it. So hopefully it'll be a good result. Who knows? Um, I've got my cup of real boss here. Got my laptop and I'm about to log on and see um, what I got. Okay. Okay, look, I'm happy with that. I got 36 out of 45. So, um, what's that in percentage? Um, 36. Ah, oh, that's a solid 80. So, uh, I'm not unhappy with that. That's really good. I'm happy, um, considering uh, it's you know it's a subject that I find a little bit hard to engage with it's I don't really know why to be honest but um I found the other subject a lot more interesting but I, I'm happy honestly with 80% happy days like um I think that still might be that might still be a distinction I don't know might be might be might be like a high credit, which I'm also happy with. That's happy with that as well, to be honest. Um, my exam marker was Roy. My S assignment marker was Roy. And it says, this is a really well developed and presented paper. It reads really clearly. It flowed, was easy to read and interesting. You demonstrated a clear understanding of most of the topics and presented a logically developed discussion of your view on them. You have divine cha defined change <laughs> and the forces underlying change management generally and in the public li library sector specifically. You then needed to use this concept to, cons to consider an, in more depth organisational culture and its impact on the success of any change initiative. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, this was the only area where did you, you did not exceed a passing level. I particularly appreciated your ability to run the leadership to the leadership Ability to run the leadership theme throughout the essay as it provided a clear and logical thread and structure. You have discussed succinctly and fully the styles and skills required of management for implementing change in the sector. In sector. An excellent essay with little to improve upon. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, thanks, Roy. That's really lovely. If you ever see this. I'm really happy with that feedback. That's really good. Um, that's really positive and... I, I read into that that I did a lot right, so I'm happy with that. I'll have to go through again. Um, they annotate your document so that you can see exactly what they were talking about and when it happened in your paper. So I'll have to go through and have a look um, more in depth at that um, so I know what to work on for next time. But, oh, yay. Hey there, Word Marinis. I hope you enjoyed my assignment feedback getting my results video um that was filmed very much ad hoc so um i got the results when you did so <laughs> the reaction was was genuine and i really had no idea how i would do with those so um thanks for watching those um they were my first two assignments for the subjects I'm doing this semester and I'm currently working on the next two assignments, the last two for this semester. So I am well and truly in assignment writing mode, but if you've just come to the channel, welcome. And so um, as a library worker, um, I often have a library card full of books. Uh, it's very, very tempting and very, very easy to borrow way more books than I can possibly expect to be able to read. I was kind of rushing through the books because they had to get back to the library and, you know, eventually I'd have to return them. And I was never, ever getting to the books that are on my shelf that I was really looking forward to reading and that I've collected over time. So that's where it comes to the challenge. Um, I decided a little while back and I made a video about this on my YouTube channel that I was going to read down my current loans on my library card and not borrow anymore for a while. 
and just concentrate on write, reading books that I own. And then after that challenge is finished, my, my goal is to only borrow one book at a time on my card and have two books on hold. Because at the moment, I, I mean, I've had up to oh, 90 books on my card. Like I couldn't possibly read those. We only get them for three weeks and two renewals. So like nine weeks max each. So there's no way I couldn't possibly read them. And I was just kind of reading them to get through them, which that's not quality reading. That's not, you know, depthful reading. Depthful, is that a word? It's a word now. Uh, I will show you actually where I am. This is a bit exciting. This is my library book cupboard, which is next to my bed. And this is currently what's in it. Yeah, so no library books left. Um, I put a few of them on my Audible wish list, so I will listen to them on via audiobook. And I took the actual physical books back to the library and I've read quite a few and I have whittled that list down to zero. So I now have only uni textbooks out on hold or out on my card at the moment because I still have three weeks left of semester a little bit more and a couple of assignments to do so I still need those so they're still on my card but I have no books to read on my card and I only have three books on hold currently so I think it's time to start the challenge so I've decided that it's a good time actually because I've got to finish these assignments off and then I'm going to have a summer of reading and reading books that I own. I've decided that I'm from now, from the end of uni this year, so October-ish this year, until next semester starts next year, which should be about February of my master's course, I'm only going to read books I own. <laughs> Look, honestly, that's going to be tough for me as someone who works in a library and sees good books come back and forth and opens boxes of new books regularly, like weekly. It's going to be really hard, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I've got so many good books I want to read. And I've started already with this one, If We Were Villains by ML Rio, which I've been dying to get to. And I'm about, what's that? Quarter, nearly a quarter of the way through that and I'm loving it and it's really nice because it because it doesn't have to go back to the library I've been able to kind of slow down and like get out my pencil and like underline good passages and descriptions and it's kind of savor it which has been really nice so I mean I'm still in essay report assignment writing mode so I'm a little bit distracted anyway <laughs> but it's been really good so I have three library books that may come in at some point during this challenge but for the most part um, except for those three that I'm still waiting on I have no idea when they'll come they'll just come when they come for the next foreseeable October November December January February five months and a little bit it's just books I own <laughs> but I have some really good ones on there I can't wait I can't wait to read them so um, I hope you'll follow along on the vlog. I hope you'll follow along on these videos and um, tell me what you're currently reading or what's on your shelf that you've been dying to get to. Um, and I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I had a look at my um, analytics on YouTube and half the people who watch my channel aren't subscribed. So guys, come on, man. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I've loved having you here and I've loved chatting with you as always. Um, I've got to get back to these assignments. Oh, oh the procrastination is real. Two to go. Whew, two to go. <laughs> Catch you in the next one, bookworms. Bye.